Attention Giants Nation! A controversial decision is shaking the halls of our team. Want to know what it's about? Don't waste any time. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Together, let's reach 1,000 subscribers and show that we're Giants to the end. Love the team? Show your love now. Friends and fans of the New York Giants, today we're tackling a rather controversial suggestion made by Bleacher Report's Alex Ballantyne, tanking to move up in the 2025 draft and grab an elite quarterback. Now, let's think together. Do you think John Mara, one of the team's owners and a man who hates to lose, would agree to such a proposal? I say, no way, zero chance. Mark it in your notebook with permanent ink. Now, imagine the message this would send to a locker room full of athletes who train year-round for a 17-game NFL season and a chance at the playoffs. Why bother practicing? Attending meetings? Doing anything to support the season? And to make matters worse, this is the Giants' 100th season, with big plans yet to be announced to celebrate the proud tradition of the franchise. Valentine's reason for suggesting the Giants tank. To get a quarterback in the next draft. But come on, first, we can project which quarterbacks will be in the draft next year. But all it takes is an injury or a prospect deciding to change his mind to mess everything up. And who's to say that Daniel Jones, the current quarterback who now has a better offensive line and a number one receiver in Malik Neighbors, might not actually look like a top 15 quarterback by the end of the season. Let's be serious. We know Jones hasn't inspired confidence among part of the fan base and media, but before suggesting the Giants give up on him and take on a $22.2 million cap hit in 2025, don't the Giants at least owe it to themselves and to Jones to see if he's closer to being the quarterback who led the team to the playoffs in 2022. So no, the Giants aren't going to throw the season away just to compete for the number one overall draft pick, no matter how many people urge them to tank. Brian DeBowell won't allow it. Joe Schoen won't allow it. Ownership won't allow it. And not just because it's the franchise's 100th anniversary, but because intentionally tanking compromises the integrity of the game's competitive spirit, which, in case anyone forgot, angered Giants fans when a few years ago, then Eagles coach Doug Pedersen decided to get cute by pulling his starting quarterback, thus throwing a game against the Washington Commanders and eliminating the Giants from the postseason. Ballantyne is fair when he writes that it feels like this offense is still far from providing the Giants with a contender. Because hey, until proven otherwise, there are still question marks on this team. But those questions don't just sit with the quarterback position. Will the offensive line truly be better? Will the running game survive the loss of Saquon Barkley? Will Malik Neighbors come as advertised? Who will take on the snaps and targets previously contributed by the recently retired Darren Waller at tight end? And drafting a quarterback within the first five or so picks doesn't necessarily mean that a team has automatically found the next Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, CJ Stroud, or Joe Burrow. Yes, the odds are in your favor, but it's not a sure thing, so just say no to the idea of the Giants tanking, especially after how they fought to the bitter end last year, with their playoff hopes hanging by a thread, and then eventually snuffed out. If Jones proves not to be the answer, Schoen will cross that bridge when he gets to it. That time, however, isn't now for a Giants team that is looking to snap a mostly decade-plus long streak of lousy football. So what do you think, fans? Is it worth tanking to try for a quarterback in the draft? Or should we give Daniel Jones another chance to show what he's capable of? Leave your opinions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news and debates about our beloved New York Giants. Let's go together on this journey.